Nobody has it right, so we'll let our viewers at home have a further look at Mr. Charles, rather, excuse me, Mr. C. Charles Nash from California, and at the same time, we'll tell them what his line is. But the panel's going to have to dig. <laughs> Mr. Nash, you know how we score this opus. Every time you give a no answer legitimately and properly, we flip a card. Ten of these flips and you have won the game. You all set? Fine. Mr. Nash is salaried. Let's begin the general questioning with um, Arlene Francis. Well, Mr. Nash, you're nicely bronzed. Is that California or do you work outdoors? Do you work outdoors, no. Mr. Nash? Yes, sir. No, thank One you, sir. Nine to go, Mr. Sir. Well, Mr. Nash, living in Glendale, uh, I wonder if you have uh, anything to do with one of the factories that's located there. Near. One of the factories? That makes something. You're no product involved in what you do? Oh, yes. There is a product? Yes. What, can I sneak out of it that way, John? We'll let you, you sneak did. out of it as long as you realize you're sneaking out of it. That's the main thing. Is the product that you make uh, made in California? Yes. Is it a useful product? Yes. <laughs> Is it used uh, indiscriminately by both sexes? <laughs> yes. It is. Would it be found in people's homes? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. so, we'd like to have a small conference. Actually, this is for my benefit, not Mr. Nash's. I want to get a technicality straightened out now. It has no particular reference to this question. Actually, I forgot what day of the week it is. I'll be back with you in a minute. John is verbose tonight. <laughs> what do you mean tonight? <laughs> I just picked out one night. Well, well anytime you're ready, Bennett, we can sit around here all night. Well, I'm waiting for to. you, John. Waiting for me? I wasn't doing anything. Well, that's, uh, what, that's what we're complaining uh, about. Mr. Nash, uh, for this product, is there any ingredient used that is either grown or made in the state of California? <laughs> I would think we could safely say that in this product there is something grown or made in the state of California. Has any part of this product ever been alive? <laughs> you mean going way back? Oh, not too far back. Let's see. You mean perambulating alive sort of thing, huh? Well, ambulating, if not ambulating. perambulating. Well, thanks, Bennett. That no. makes it two down to go. <laughs> now, I think we'd have to knock you out on the ambulating department. All right, that's two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. All right, has it ever been alive standing still? Miss <laughs> Kilgallen wanted to know if it had ever been alive standing still. <laughs> no. That's fine. Three down, seven to go, Mr. Allen. Is it something, did uh, Bennett establish that it's something that's, that has grown in California? We answered with some reluctance, affirmatively, to the question, was it grown or made in California? Can you distill that for me, John? <laughs> uh, well, may I say, is, is it something that's grown in California? Mm. Well, he should know no, what he does. That's right, Mr. Nash. No, it is not grown. Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. It's just made in California. Yes. <clears throat> so many people are. <laughs> is it? <laughs> is this useful, this product? Yes. Is it? Is it something you, one could hold in one's hand? Yes, you can. Yeah, you know, within a, you know, a basic term of reference, you can hold it in your hand. I'm going to say this, you're so far away from it, all of you, I don't want to discourage you. We you are far away minute. from it? We yeah. ought to get on another field, you mean? No, I don't mean a thing, actually. just wanted to tell you I was going to give you another minute. <laughs> Is it ever used in uh, studio work? Yes. It's used in motion picture studios? 
Yes. Is it necessary to be used in motion picture studios? Oh, yes. <laughs> Has it any moving parts? Yes. Now, can I ask a question? What? <laughs> Are there several different products that you're involved with? Instead of it just being one thing, is there, is no, there a variety? We get, before we take you too far off the road, Arlene, the product we have accepted uh, as a general product, and we are now in this identification area willing to identify a general product with which Mr. Nash may have a specific affiliation. Interesting. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right, and you can hold it in your hand, even if you wouldn't want to necessarily. All right, should we get off that whole bit? Do you think it'd be a good idea? We well, get into something else. Do you have anything to do, Mr. Nash, with... Um, uh, uh, training anything or anybody? No, Do you no. work in an advisory capacity of any kind? With <laughs> no, this? There was no. a product. Well, is there anything to do with the sight or sound equipment in a studio? Yes. Is it one of the machines that is responsible for either recording the sound or putting the picture onto the screen? No. no. And no. that, I think, that's the matter. Actually, I don't... This was a very tricky one, panel. Don't feel bad about it. It's it a very small, fascinating yeah. occupation, but I don't think you'd have gotten it if we'd given, us, given ourselves three days. He's a smog Actually, maker. What, what did you say? He's a smog maker. <laughs> no, he's much more famous than that, Fred. Mr. Nash is the voice of Donald Duck at the Walt Disney Studios. has met Mr. Nash, but I we certainly. were counting on his not recognizing That's him. That's a and long time ago, Mr. Nash. <laughs> Those <laughs> rather fabulous studios, now, the Walt Disney Studios. 20,000 meters. I'm sorry, but he's got to just... We must have at least time for him to say something to us like Donald Duck. Come on. Say just one thing. Now I should drink the ice with a Mr. Nash is one of that great combination of talents whose latest effort, I believe, is 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. That's Walt right. Disney Studios. <laughs> <laughs> that is a picture, too. Oh, it's a wonderful picture, that I'm sure of. And Mr. Nash, you've been a wonderful guest, and thanks very much for being here.